in this situation, you have to be voting against Trump and in favor of democracy. Sadly, Joe Biden is not a good or attractive candidate for anything other than hospice. (laughs) And so you're not given much of an opportunity to be enamored by Joe Biden. He's just an old, senile white guy who's been in politics for 100 years. And it's, it's, it's a horrible choice we're given, but unless you're an idiot, it's an obvious choice. Because in, you know, in 2020, the other guy refused to leave the White House and attempted a coup. Now, as a country, we didn't have the balls to execute him for treason, which we should have, which you legally should do, because that's what he did. If he gets in again, he will leave only by death. And I predicted all of this back in 2015 and 16. If he got in, he would not leave. He's completely self-absorbed. He has no respect for the rule of law. He has no respect for the history of this country in any level. And he's entirely there for his own self-interest and self-preservation. We have the president debate coming up this week, tomorrow. First of all, will you be watching? No. Do you ever watch the debates? No. You didn't watch when o- even Obama was it? No. Be- just because you don't, you, you're not going to get swayed, so right. you know I, there's yeah. no reason. Why waste my time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I just you know, before Obama, I never voted, so it didn't really matter. Mm-hmm. And then with Obama, I voted by new. I was an Obama guy, and then since then. It's just anti idiocy, so like I know what direction I'm going there. Yeah. The debate's not gonna sway anybody. You know, it's it's kind of an exercise in futility. Is it? Yeah. What's it gonna do? Especially this, like you two fucking geriatric dudes. Like, <laughs> what are they gonna do? No, but not that but that's 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 they should put out a poll. I wonder. Like I wonder Well I mean if you do, here's do, here's the problem with do the poll. It really sway. Here here's the problem with the poll. Like if you ask the question you're going to get an answer. You're going to get poll data. People will probably say yes just because you're asking the question. Mm. I think there's a psychological bias in that particular question. Like, did you watch the debate? Did it influence your vote? If you Because here's the thing. If you ask a person, did you watch the debate, and they say no, that's the end of the inquiry. They, they're out of the sample size. So you're only talking about a sample size of people. Did you watch the debate? Did it sway your opinion? You know, or did you find it useful in arriving at your decision? So it's almost like a biased sample size uh, to me. Yeah, that's not going to really indicate much of anything. No, that's true. Polls are weird. I I I, I remember a poll question like, uh, "Do you like ice cream?" And I put, "Yeah," but I don't eat it. Really, you don't? I haven't ate. I don't like. I haven't eaten. Ice I got cream an ice cream cake time. for my birthday, which is my favorite. I'm still eating that. <laughs> I might have a big piece after the show. There you go. Carvel Cake, shout out. Give us a sponsorship. <laughs> now, this is just um, I, Mark Cuban. I thought that was an interesting and funny thing he was saying. If they were having his last wake um, and it was him versus Trump and he was uh, being given his last rights, um, I would still vote for Joe Biden. Uh, so just he's he's definitely anti-Trump. Um, as he should be <laughs> and which is which is interesting because i'm sure a lot of his peers are are, are republicans yeah I, I mean i get that but i mean this is this is a litmus test of where you stand and if you you know you, you're in this situation you have to be voting against trump and in favor of democracy Sadly, Joe Biden is not a good or attractive candidate for anything other than hospice. (laughs) And so you're not given much of an opportunity to be enamored by Joe Biden. He's just an old, senile white guy who's been in politics for 100 years. And it's, it's, it's a horrible choice we're given, but unless you're an idiot, it's an obvious choice. Because in, you know, in 2020... The other guy refused to leave the White House and attempted a coup. Now, as a country, we didn't have the balls to execute him for treason, which we should have, which you legally should do, because that's what he did. If he gets in again, he will leave only by death. And I predicted all of this back in 2015 and 16. If he got in, he would not leave. He's completely self-absorbed. He has no respect for the rule of law. He has no respect for the history of this country in any level. 
And he's entirely there for his own self-interest and self-preservation. And it's a horrific, democracy-crushing precedent to allow this asshole in the White House again. And so that's the decision in front of you. So don't give me any shit about Joe Biden's a shitty candidate. I get it. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. And that's what this quote is telling you. What you're voting for is some semblance of democracy, how, albeit dysfunctional, versus a totalitarian regime led by a fucking moron. That's your decision. If you're comfortable with that, you can go to hell. If you want to stand down and not vote because you don't like either candidate, you too can go to hell. That's where we're at. Well, there you have it. I I do like to watch the debates. I watch almost, I watch almost all of the debates. Uh, and, well, I in mean, particular, like, like this I, guy. I, it, yeah, it's so entertainment. No. It's not. <laughs> no, it's not because it's, because the the sad truth of it is 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 by looking at him as entertainment, no, you are oh, legitimizing understand. him, and that's the thing that we've done now for eight years is we've looked at this guy as entertainment, and even half the people that aren't going to vote for him and acknowledge that he's an idiot sit there and digest his horseshit content, and it sells because people digest this as entertainment. This is not entertainment. This is treason. This is the destruction of democracy. And this is bullshit. And if you're going to engage in it, it's at your own peril. You legitimized him as a candidate, and he should not be. He should be a societal pariah rotting under a jail. And anything to, to engage in him as entertainment is absurd. I don't disagree with any of that. But you're too weak to do it. But I disagree with the premise of... A debate, the, 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 what makes a good presidential debate is 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 half entertainment. Like I was watching this. Um, no, it's not, no, it's not. It is. Like, it is. Like, no, no. Because even Obama, for, Obama for, for, was for, entertaining in his in it in, in, no, in, in that debate. It's not. There's a di- there's a difference. And again, there, if we had two legitimate candidates, if we had one legitimate candidate, a person that could articulate that could speak to people, that could inspire people. Like, I get it. Yeah, I would watch that. Be, well, but we don't have that in this election. No. And, yeah, and yeah, that, but, that's, but, but, that's not it. I'm not looking. If you want to be entertained, watch a fucking sitcom. If you, if <laughs> no, you want, I'm saying. But no, if you want, I mean, if you want, I mean, I'm not talking about mere entertainment. Like, if you want, if there's somebody there to inspire, to raise the level of this shithole, like, I'm here for it. But it ain't here now. This is what this is what I'm this is what I'm saying. When you have, I don't. I, I it's weird because I want. I don't want to put myself with like the idiots. Where it's whatever. hard not to though. <laughs> but, no, but, I mean, no, but, 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 but hold on. But hold on. But, 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 but most of the country, and I believe I kind of put myself in this category. We're not as um, adept, and up to date, and involved, and aware of. Of, of politics in this country and 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 different policies and, and and things that are best for us or not best for us, and inside of the debate, a lot of those questions are asked. A lot of those, um, you know, a lot of those topics and situations are brought up, and and they debate about them, right? And I think a part of a good debater from a presidential candidate, he answers those questions okay it does his best to answer of course a, a, a lot of them dodge them and do, does those little antics but in order to to maintain and keep the masses attention while while you're talking is to provide some level of entertainment i, I like the best one i've ever seen and i don't think you know and i i i, I fall different as far as what he actually did in his during his presidential um campaign obama but I felt like he was like perfect. He was like perfection because I learned. I learned things while, during his debate and he, he broke things down and he told jokes. He, he you know, he, he he dissed them a couple of times. Like he, he did all of those things in and out while teaching and learning. It was like a master class almost. But, 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 and you strike the right thing there because – Obama, you policies, accomplishments, you, you, we could debate 
there's you know, with any presidency, there's gonna be positive and negatives, except for one. There's only negatives, <laughs> and then, but but what Obama was, and still it, he is the quintessential politician. Yeah, he's an inherently moderate person, but he's bright. He's engaging. He has humor. Yeah. He has a note of inspiration. He yeah. is the quintessential politician. That's what the key was. That's why, you know, like, yes, we can. Like, he inspired. He drew the best out of people. Um, and then in the black lash, the worst. But that's, you know, that's the, 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 the trade-off we have in this country. But but no, I, I agree completely with you. Like, I mean, I remember listening to his... Yeah, the speech you give when the when they declare you the winner of the election. Okay, yeah. In two thousand eight, he was in some big place in Chicago, and I mean, I I, I was choked up listening to him talk. Yeah. I was like, this is a brilliant moment for the country. We've we've finally taken some step in, in you know in in electing somebody that wasn't white to the presidency, and this is the guy, and he's historically you know, spot on with his speaking, his inspiring to listen to, everything about that was brilliant. Um, you know, I, one of the better political moments that I've experienced. But again, that's generational. Like, I mean, there's people that felt that way about JFK, mm-hmm. and we talked about him, you know, earlier in the show. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's That's the exception, it's not the norm. And to kind of like, in, like watch these debates for, you know, the, the norm is just just not worth a damn like to yeah. me um but yeah that, i mean that's why i enjoyed you know his presidency as much as it did and i think sometimes it can hurt you too like i think i think the, the sarah palin was was hurt by in and hers you know what i mean she um, was exposed for being a community college imbecile <laughs> yeah. if that's what you're talking about yeah yeah, yeah. no i mean it, and it should be but like the the bar is so low right now it is yeah. on both sides that like that's not what it's we're not going to be talking about yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. not we're not you're it's you, not going to be you a factor. know what you're going to get you're going to get two senile bumbling white men like just struggling yeah. you know it you know i mean it's going to be fucked <laughs> it is because you're not going to get anything that you would say. Then, oh, I'm it, happy that I was here. And then what do we get? We, you get three of these, I think. Well, maybe they'll pass at away the, before the third. <laughs> at the very least, I, I at the very least I think it's it, it's three. Yeah, 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 something like that. So I, it's possible this might be the only one, though. Mm. I mean, if it goes bad, if it goes as I expected to go bad enough, they probably will not do them. Yeah, you know, just because they're basically both unfit to lead. It doesn't surprise me. Yeah, if it goes bad or something, yeah. They'll, they'll probably pull the plug. I mean, they're not, you know, they have, hopefully they have people that'll be like, hey, And then they just do the <laughs> individual campaign. Runs just do your, and, your commercials and your commercials. horseshit speeches and all that. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, again, I, 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 I can't imagine it goes any other way. But here, my criticism of, of people is that as we all know this is going to go badly and we're still going to be stupid enough to like, digest it and break it down and analyze it and try and make it something that it's not. Mm -hmm. This is two senile old people that should have not be anywhere near this that are going to put on this shit show. And I mean, like we look at like, uh, you know, nobody wants to see two 70 year old boxers box. No. Like what are we doing? Yeah. You know, let, let's, let's we'll watch one. <laughs> we won't even watch <laughs> one. Like no, <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna watch. You know, that's the thing. Um, so that yeah, but but again, we, we this will be legitimized because all your news channels and people will. Oh, did you see? You know what? No, no. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Just do the right thing and end it. Oh man. 